good afternoon, Northern Michigan. From your local National Weather Service office in Gaylord, this is meteorologist Dave Lawrence bringing you the latest rendition of our weather briefing for all of Northern Lower and Eastern Upper Michigan. Today is Saturday, July 6, 2013. A beautiful summertime day out there for sure across the entire region. Uh, we'll start off by taking a quick look at our hazardous weather highlights, though. Uh, really just some small chances for thunderstorms, sort of what you come to expect this time of the year. Uh, mainly each afternoon, anywhere from tomorrow through the day on Tuesday. That would be most likely across eastern upper and northeast and interior lower Michigan. Uh, northwest lower Michigan looks like it will sort of stay out of the mix of the chance for thunderstorms here the next couple of days. No severe weather expected whatsoever. Just something to keep an eye on if you have any outdoor plans. A better chance for some thunderstorms and some much needed rainfall looks like it may finally come Tuesday night into Wednesday across all of northern Michigan. Again, no hazardous weather or significant severe weather is expected with that round of storms either. Looking at our current weather map, Bermuda high pressure, sort of your classic summertime setup for warm weather in northern Michigan, well underway with high pressure just off the east coast. Uh, southwest flow of winds pushing lots of warmth and some humidity into the Great Lakes. Uh, no rainfall really anywhere nearby. Closest rain in the Tennessee Valley and Ohio Valley. Uh, with high temperatures today well into the 80s and lower 90s. Just a beautiful day if you love to be outdoors or at the beach. Uh, that general trend will continue through the day on Sunday with more heat and some humidity, increasing amounts of humidity as a weak frontal boundary slides in from the north. That feature and accompanying, uh, in addition to some, some warm afternoon temperatures, will give us a small chance for some afternoon thunderstorms, again, mainly across northeast lower Michigan, eastern upper Michigan, as that frontal boundary works its way southward. That feature is really not going to go anywhere here by Monday afternoon, sitting nearby. Again, a small chance for an afternoon shower or storm with that. Don't cancel any plans. It's not looking like a washout whatsoever. Uh, as we push further ahead, uh, that uh, weak cold front will slowly work its way Tuesday. Uh, really, again, a small chance, and so nothing to hang your hat on here whatsoever. But as we head into a Wednesday, you see low pressure taking shape across northern Lake Superior. That will bring us, again, the much better chance for showers and thunderstorms Tuesday night into Wednesday before some cooler and noticeably uh, less humid air arise for Thursday into Friday with maybe a couple of lingering showers for the day on Thursday. Again, nothing to cancel any plans over at this point. In terms of rainfall, here's the big map. We haven't seen numbers like this for quite some time, and hopefully these will actually pan out. Uh, we could use some rain. It's been quite dry the last uh, 14 to 18 days across northern Michigan. Uh, anywhere between maybe an inch to an inch and a half of rain on average, expected from now uh, basically through the day on Wednesday. And again, we'll see have to see how thunderstorms play out throughout that period. Otherwise, beautiful night out there, clear to partly cloudy, very mild, lows only in the 60s. Uh, and then again, chances for thunderstorms ramp up from Sunday right on through next Wednesday. Well, this concludes the latest rendition of this briefing. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to stop by. Check us out on Facebook, uh, Twitter. Interact with us if you're on the beach on your smartphone. We'd love to talk to you if you have any weather questions or anything like that. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the weather out there while it's here. You know, we uh, typically don't get a whole lot of summertime warmth up here before it gets interrupted by cooler weather at times. So enjoy it while it's here. And we hope to see you back for the latest rendition of this briefing which will be posted online right around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.